So we've managed to beat Martin with only a queen, and then we beat Aloni with only a queen. Then, it didn't get any harder against Taron. And in the last episode, a 1000 rated bot was able to trap my queen after a few moves, but we still managed to get the W. So this time, my opponent will be, Sven. A lot of you are familiar with Sven, some a little more than others. But for anyone who is not familiar with him, he's 1100 rated, and he's the arch nemesis of some of you, but he's also the bot that most of you want me to tag team with in a real game, after Martin of course. So I'd say, you guys seem to have a love-hate relationship with him. But anyway. It's only a 100 point difference between the two, so I assume this can't be a lot harder than last time. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. I'll start with, queen to e2. I know this doesn't attack the b pawn or the g pawn, but I've done a bit of research on my opponent, and I think this is a good move. Back to our usual strategy. Queen to e5. d5. Well, it's not like I thought he was gonna lose the rook from the second move, he's 1100 rated after all. Queen to d4 then. g5. If only I had an f-pawn, I would have played the coca-cola gambit. But unfortunately for my opponent, I have an active queen instead. Dude. It seems that no matter the rating of each bot, they always fall for the same trick. That's a free knight. Or, I am the one who falls for the same trick and gets his queen trapped again. But I guess this time it's not completely trapped, because the h-pawn is not defended. And it's still not defended. But as we all know, it wouldn't be a chess enjoyer video without me refusing to take a free pawn. I'll go queen to h7. I know some of you are gonna be like, I can't believe you would do this plus disliked plus unsubbed plus l plus ratio, but believe me, I have a plan. Queen to h5. Ha! He fell right into it. Queen to h8 check queen takes h4 check and boom. Free queen. Dude. In what world is this guy rated 1100 while Martin is only 250? I'll take this bishop. And this rook. The funny thing is, I'm actually still losing if he plays this correctly. But that's a big if, considering he just literally gave me 17 points of free material. I'll take this pawn. Okay, his g pawn is getting a bit too advanced, but should I be worried? I mean, it says on the website that he likes to play defensively, so maybe I should just ignore it. Well that wasn't very defensive. Maybe the red flag was when it said he doesn't like to lose pieces. Anyway. I'll take this pawn. Okay. The plan is quite simple. I give a check, he blunders a piece, I take the piece. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Queen to c8. Okay, so now I have another check to win the pawn and play with minimum risk, but then I won't be able to give a check on e8 that has a 70% chance to make him blunder a piece. You know what, I'll just bring my king closer. I mean, it's not like he's gonna find f3 threatening to go bishop check and promote. Right? Wow. I really underestimated him. I'll give the check anyway. Ha! Never mind. I'll take this knight. And this bishop. And this pawn. And this pawn. Ha! So he did get a queen after all. And the queen is dead. I had no idea that even bots like to give spike checks. So after a few more moves, queen to g7, checkmate. In the next episode, I'll be facing the final boss, Nelson. I really don't think it's possible to beat him with only a queen, but I'll try, and who knows. But anyway. Mission passed, plus respect.